Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular office interior over here. So we have started modeling the assets, the table and all this. So let's continue it. So now what we'll be doing over here is like, let's start with it. So very first of all, I'll just make a copy of this that's your drawer over here so let's just make a copy of it over here so we can make some multiple copies so let's do it all right so I'll go over here and how we can start modeling this chair so Let's go into this. Let's take a line or you can take up a rectangle over here. So let's just take a rectangle. So I'll just press R and I'll scale it. So convert to editable spline. Select this, select the vertices, let's slightly give a bit of fillet or you can just give a bit of fillet to it in this way and you can slightly assign a bit of fillet, let's give a bit of refine over here. right click make it smooth so if you want I can even put some refine over here make it smooth like this so that is totally possible that can be done And you can go into this and you can make it as rectangular you can just make a width over here in this way so slightly you can scale it in this way so if you see I have uh, just done some changes over here so we can create some net stuff over here using the line or even you can use some plane or stuff over here So I can give a lattice modifier so you can select this 0.01 0.05 you can make it a net material and let's give FFD box so whatever changes you need you can make those changes over here so you can 
select this control point slightly just push this inside So you can just convert to editable spline or you can convert to editable poly. Just select this edges and let's slightly give a bit of chamfer and reduce this. So make it a bit more smoother so let's again go over here take a arc over here right from the top view over here so I'll go into the arc I'll just pop this I'll make a arc over here so push this arc up so go into this enable in viewport reduce this in this way so you can connect this over here if you want you can definitely connect it looks like it has to be connected you can make it individually also that's not a problem so if you want you can make this in that way so convert to editable poly so select this polygons so select this polygons over here and extrude it down which has to be connected like this in this way so select this connect it let's give some connect over here and let's give a FFD box and slightly just push this down that's it so convert to editable poly you can smoothen it later on if you want you can do that that's not a problem and even if you want to give uh, FFD box over here for this that can be done yeah now looks much better so convert to editable poly So you can just go over here, take a cylinder, it's a very uh, complicated a bit, it's going to take time. So convert to editable poly, select this polygons, slightly give a bit of inset, extrude a bit over here so select this part and if you want I can slightly give FFD box 
and I can slightly, if you want, you can push it down if required, or else it's totally okay. And isolate this stuff in this way. So let's again go over here. Take a gem for box. It's gonna take time because there are a uh, few details. We need uh, time for this for creation of such stuff. So I'll just push this up over here. So you can add some points if required. That's for me. Totally change up. If we're pushing it more then it's gonna affect all. So Alright, we will keep it as it is for now, I will just select this, I will slightly increase its height, reduce its fillet a bit, so let's just push it in this way. Give some FFD box. Can make uh, this more, uh, you know, smoother. Can make this more smoother. That can be. can make it more smoother this looks better now So let's just put this over here and we'll take a line again so we can just take this something like this yes, looks like this or such office chairs And I can slightly shuffle this up if required. Select this vertices and let's give fillet. That looks better. And give fillet. Looks much better. So reduce this stuff. Slightly just push this out keep it over here and we can go into this 
that is um, joint over here which has been connected in this way so Q fillet so I can just go over here so it's going to take time because uh, we are definitely generating some details that's the reason so we need more time for such assets over here so let's just mirror it over here and push this till here all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial